Hello, so today I am in beautiful Greece and we'll be discussing the best way to get the Greek Golden Visa and how to get very decent capitalization rates and net rental yields of about 8 to 10% on your real estate investments here in Greece. Because typically when you try to do the Golden Visa, you're pitched a bunch of new developments in Athens and Thessaloniki and random islands that give you very low returns. But on this island, here in Lesbos, the situation is very different. Prices are dirt cheap and you can get some very interesting rental returns. So not only for the golden visa, but also as a pure real estate investment for people who want exposure to Greece and to tourism here in the region. So as a little bit of background information, it's important to, to also be truthful with oneself in terms of the situation that Greece is finding itself in. So in 2008, the economy completely crumbled. Essentially, everything blew up in Greece, the banks, the government, everything. Uh, people voted for against some of the reforms that were proposed by the European Union, but still the Euro European Union just went ahead and forced these reforms onto the Greek people. And the result was that for 10 years approximately, the country just sunk into a deep, deep depression, which was driven by having to pay back debt and by a strong euro, which was imposed by Germany, which led to essentially manufacturing dying in Greece. So as things stand in Greece, there is barely any manufacturing anymore. It all left because the euro was just too strong compared to what the Greek economy could absorb. A lot of immigration happened. So the best Greeks left the country. The fertility rate plunged so people don't have any children anymore because they can't afford it and instead what you have is a bunch of Nigerians and Pakistanis and Afghans that keep coming into Greece stay here in camps for a few months including here on the island of Lesbos where there are camps deep inside the island it's a huge island but you don't see any foreigners here I haven't seen any non-white person in the last five days that I've been here and then they get sent to all over Europe. So they don't necessarily, they don't stay here, but it's actually, it's good for the economy here because it's a whole business with government people, NGOs, etc., that spend a lot of money here on the island. And then it gets this, and then these people get dispatched to all over in Europe. The result is that on a PPP basis, so taking into account purchasing power, the average Greek is now poorer than the average Turk, right? So that's the very sad reality of what has happened to Greece. So when you hear this, you think, oh, I would never want to invest here, blah, blah, blah. I understand. However, asset prices have completely crashed here, uh, proportionally to what even more to what happened to the Greek economy. So now what you find is that real estate in Greece is a cash market. There's barely any leverage in the market. Banks do not lend. And when you look at charts in terms of the, the mortgage market, it keeps decreasing as people pay back their loans that they got before. And people that try to enter the market do not get access to mortgages. So effectively, when you buy in Greece, it's now a cash market. Prices have going, been going up of real estate since 2018, slowly but surely. So we'll be looking at houses that are absolutely stunning for 160,000 euros. We'll be looking at little houses for 25,000 euros. So now we're gonna go meet up with Angelina. So she was my interior designer in Istanbul. She moved here recently to Greece. She set up a real estate agency with a number of Greek partners. And we're gonna look at three houses here in this beautiful little village. And we will be doing all of the numbers from A to Z in terms of the price, cost of renovations, etc., and then how much rental return we can expect, the expenses, etc., to get to a net rental yield for each of them. So this is the house. So Angelina with her business partner Estratos here from Greece. So tell us about this house. So Angelina, you recently sold this house, correct? Yes. We recently sold this house to our client. Uh, the client was very lucky because it's very difficult to find such a unique and beautiful historical building with a panoramic sea view in prime location of Plomari. This is very prime location and this house has very high rental potential. 
Okay, cool. So we're gonna go in there. We're gonna do all of the numbers together with the Stratos and Angelina. And but before I, we had these people just randomly walk into the house when we're looking at it, and they are potential real estate investors because they were asking about the numbers. Um, so where are you, good people from? We're what, from Sweden. From Sweden. Okay, cool. So what brings you here to Lesbos? Uh, vacation. Curiosity. Summer and vacation. We have been in Greece a couple of times before. Yeah. And, but never Lesbos. Okay, so why why did you come to Lesbos? Is it your first time to Lesbos? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are you considering buying real estate in Lesbos? We're we, curious. We met some couple, Swedish couple, who has bought uh, houses. Two, two couples, yeah. actually. And they just love it. Okay. They, they, this is Why? the best. It's genuine Greek. Okay. Uh, more than other islands? I should say. Mm, yes, and much more than Spain and France. And it's so corrected. It's so made for tourists. This Here is more it's genuine. Like coming into a real village. Yeah, yeah. that's very true. You, real, it's like authentic Greek, Greek here yeah. in, in Klamadi. Yeah. That's very so true. You like it more and more. In the beginning, what is this? But then it was the a more bit you ugly, stay, but it's, you're more it's, for every day. Yeah. Is this a local I can refer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you spotted beautiful So now places. we're a little bit in love. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we is were it? out with a boat yesterday in for four hours and it's fantastic from the sea view. Good. So we really love it. Have you ever bought international real estate? No. 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 Would you consider living in Greece or do you want to continue living in Sweden? Is it just a vacation house yes. that you're looking for? Probably, Or yes. for a retirement home? What are you looking for? Maybe when in a couple of years when we are retired. You never know. Okay. We have think, th thought about Spain, France, and now we're in great Greece. So you never know. Are you aware of the tax benefits that Greece has to offer? No. No. Okay. No. So what if I told you if you move to Greece as a retired person, you become a tax resident here, so you leave Sweden, you become a tax resident of Greece. For 15 years, you would only pay 7% taxes on worldwide income. Okay, we move Ooh, here. Maybe it's... <laughs> that's, that's, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Cool. I didn't know that. You, you, you had we haven't, we no, haven't no. come that far with no, we, uh, in this question, so, uh, so we don't know. But it's interesting. That's yeah. interesting. Right? Very. Okay. In Sweden, we have a uh, high taxes. Yeah. Yes, so you do. Cool. So, and I think, uh, Sratos, you're seeing um, a lot of people moving down from Scandinavia to the island. Am yeah. I correct? Uh, we have many people from uh, Norway, from uh, France, from uh, Sweden, from Denmark, and people that uh, I mean, we have 32 or more architects now but, uh, have already bought properties in uh, Plomari. 32 architects? At least, yeah, at least. Okay. They're, they own a house in Plumari now. Okay, cool. So, and I think this is really important for people to understand when they invest in an island like here. Sure, we discussed this a bit earlier. The Greek economy is, is a bit crappy, but when you buy here, when you invest here, what you're buying is cash flow from Northern Europe. You're buying assets at Greek prices with Northern European cash flow, which can result in interesting yields. So let's look at this. So Angelina, so you would be running with the, so it's your client that bought this. You would be running with the, essentially the whole renovation, the remodeling of this unit. Uh, what would be just in three sentences, your plan? Would you turn this into one bedroom apartment, into a three bedroom, one bedroom apartment, two bedroom apartment? What would be your plan here? Because these views are absolutely gorgeous. You see the whole, like the whole port here. It's just beautiful. It's just, it's like real Greece, really real Greece here. So Angelina, what would you do here? Uh, so our plan is uh, divide this house to three separate units. Okay. And this house, is only one of the floors. This is only one of the floors. It's the okay. top floor and it's uh, most beautiful. Of course, uh, this panoramic view and uh, has potential to convert to the loft apartment. We plan to break the ceiling okay. and uh, leave it open till the roof. Okay. So this is, will be two bedrooms apartment, okay. loft apartment with uh, 
huge salon, open kitchen, and uh, we think it's like around 175 euro per night. Okay. Uh, the rental, short term rental. For okay, so but 175 is that just I assume just for peak season? Yes, it's only on peak season. How long would peak season be in your numbers? We we think we we want to be very pragmatic. We talk about three and a half months. Okay. Usually peak season can be four, five months, even six, but we are talking about three and a half months. Yeah, let's let's stick to three and a half for the numbers. So three and a half months of. Uh, at uh, 175 euros a night, what would be your occupancy rates? Uh, around 80%, this floor, top floor. Okay. This and is, then, this is a, a very special apartment. It is, it is. What we're doing also for the numbers is we're removing 12% for discounts, so when people weekly bookings or monthly bookings. What about the, the rest of the year? So off season, which are about which is about eight and a half months? Off season in total, uh, you would make for eight and a half months uh, half what you would make of uh, three and a half months of uh, high season. Okay, so I, th I think this is quite conservative. So you're talking about the, the renovation, so we're going to go check out the other units. Um, what would be the total renovation budget roughly for the whole house? We think that renovation cost would be about 85,000 euro and the purchase price is 120,000 euro plus uh, furniture I think would cost 25,000 euro so in total it's about 234,000 euro Cool. For then that's for three apartments. This is for three units. I'm talking. Okay. We're talking about whole, uh, of course, expenses of the owner. Okay. So let's go check out the other apartment uh, downstairs. Yeah. This is. Uh, you can see the sea view from here too. Beautiful. Okay. It's beautiful. Ah. The marine is there. All the restaurants are there. Yeah. Clubs and bars all are there. So okay. it's just uh, two minutes okay. from do, here. Do you recommend the bars and clubs and restaurants here? Yes, it's <laughs> very nice. Okay. It is, uh, they have very nice food, very yeah. nice atmosphere. It is very safe. Yeah. Sometimes at night I can see grandmother with grandchildren. In at the nightclub. Club. At yeah. the nightclub, yes, okay. I was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You got to love the family spirit here in Greece. It's really nice. Cool. So each apartment has their own entrance. Yes, each apartment has own entrance. We don't need to divide and create and break anything. It's already divided into three units. All right. Cool. So this one, the ceiling definitely not as high. Uh, but yeah, lovely not views as, as well. Not as high, but it has the same stunning view. Yeah, amazing And as views. a balcony, it's also advantage. Yeah. We have a nice balcony to chill out in the evening and to yeah. watch sunset and beautiful marine. So what are the numbers for this one in terms of the rental expectations? So we are thinking about uh, 100 euro per night for this unit. Um, it's very pragmatic. It could rent out much upper price higher price so because of this beautiful marine view and this is one bedroom apartment apartment so top floor would have two bedrooms this is one bedroom apartment but still it's like a uh, suit for the honeymoon couple okay um, and, the, and the occupancy rate occupancy rate around 75 percent okay and same, same and metrics. same things as uh, for the top floor so in total you would make eight and a half months of low season half what you would made of three and a half months of high season okay cool and the stratos there's also a ground floor unit but I, you don't have the keys right now but this one doesn't have views it just uh, has views it have this. a view but it's uh, just uh, on the road level so you can walk and you can it's the proximity of all the shops the taverns the restaurants okay uh, the bars is very close and it has very beautiful you know? flowers okay <laughs> and how much would the the nightly rate be for that one the one bedroom there uh, around uh, 50 per day okay. per night so in, in peak season and then using again the the same methodology okay so about the the cost so how much do you the two of you charge for Airbnb management. So we charge 25% uh, 
Okay. For urban management, it's a bit uh, difficult management here. It's a very small uh, town, so it needs more effort than manage uh, units in, in big city like Istanbul. Okay. So char we charge 5% more here than in Istanbul for the reason. Okay. What about the property tax, Stratos? How much would be the property tax roughly? I know in Greece it's different because it's like depending on the income of the person. It's just a bit complicated here, but roughly? Uh, I mean, around 200 around per 200? year. Okay. Euros per 200 year. euros per year. Okay, guys, so $220 for three apartments a year in property tax. This is not going to break the bank. So, Estratos, what about the utilities? Utilities will be around 25 to 30 for the... Uh, internet for the best speed you can uh, get then around 200 for electricity and water is uh, maybe we don't need to mention that it's very cheap something okay. like five to ten euros okay so all in per month roughly uh, around 250 to 60 and Estratos in terms of maintenance how much of a maintenance budget you would you leave each year for I don't know little issues plumbing problems and sometimes repainting outdoors and stuff like that uh, when in renovation you put good workers good craftsmen and uh, good materials maintenance cost drops dramatically so I would say like uh, five to six hundred Per year. Okay, we'll increase that number a little bit just to be safe to put buffer in the numbers. But essentially, we come down to a net rental yield or capitalization rate of about 9%, so before local income tax, which is much better than anything you can get uh, pretty much anywhere else in Greece when you're looking at golden visa operations. Um, so this would qualify the, for the golden visa, the purchase of the property, not necessarily the renovations, but the purchase of the property. So this is one way that you can get some very interesting capitalization rates and also potentially a capital gains when you do the renovation and if you want to sell later on at some point and then switch on to another property because you do have that flexibility in Greece to keep your golden visa. You just need to always have property for that amount so you can do operations. Yeah. So now we've reached a stage where counterintuitively buying real estate in Greece is less risky than buying real estate in places such as Spain, such as Portugal, such as the UK or Belgium, where there is a lot of leverage in the system. It's a cash market. So if a big crash comes in Europe, real estate prices here won't really be impacted that much because nobody will be forced to sell. So that's from the economy as a whole. Obviously, there are other risks in terms of Greece, earthquakes uh, down there. If you look, you can see, I don't know if you can see with a camera, but there's Turkey down there. So there's always a risk of conflict between Greece and Turkey. But the reality is, if you want to get the golden visa, right, you can either invest in low yield projects and on other islands or on the mainland or you can come here and buy some interesting stuff. There's a whole bunch of things for sale here because the economy is so depressed, because people have left, but you can still get very decent returns. Why? Because most of the tourism here, so here we're in a little town called Plumari on the island of Lesbos, and because most of the tourism is actually Northern European, right? So what we're seeing is a lot of Scandinavians, Germans and Dutch mostly that come down here not just for the summer but for the whole year as well so they either come down here for the summer like regular Europeans because Greece is cheaper and it's nice and the food is good and all of that but increasingly you have northern Europeans that are moving down to Greece on a permanent basis because of all the tax incentives that the Greek government is now putting in place to encourage people to move down to Greece. So if you're a German, you can either stay in Germany with massive inflation, the cost of living going up, a lot of issues in Germany, horrible weather, economy of Germany is being turned upside down, or you can come down to Greece, live in a beautiful village like this, you can go swim in the Aegean Sea, reduce your overall tax rate, Life is a lot cheaper, people are a lot more relaxed. So that's the decision that a lot of Europeans are making. So you're making a, a bet on two things. So tourism 
and two, also people moving down. And that's the one that I believe in, people moving down from Northern Europe to Southern Europe, just like we see in the US and Canada, people moving from North America down to Latin America because life is better, cheaper, a lot more pleasant, et cetera, et cetera, more freedom. So people come down here in Europe for the same reasons, they move from North to South. So even though you're buying assets that are extremely cheap, right? So that are potentially drachma denominated, right? So if, if Greece were to leave the European Union, you would have an asset that would be drachma denominated, but the cash flow is Northern European. And I think that's important. You're buying assets in potential drachmas and you're buying cash flow in whatever the currency in Northern Europe would be at that time. If we take us the worst case scenario of the Euro breaking up, if things continue and nothing's too bad, then you're just getting, you're buying cheap assets here in Greece, renting out to wealthy Northern Europeans. So tell us about this uh, this house, because it's it's gorgeous. Like once redone, I can see how beautiful it is. So this house was uh, originally, uh, uh, a doctor has the house. He was keeping um, good care of it. Now, eventually the children don't want to do anything with, uh, the house they live, uh, one of the children living in Athens. They have other properties, so. Cool. Now it's uh, in the market. How, how much is it going for? 160 is the list. Uh, asking price. The asking price. Okay. Angelina, for your clients, how much would you try to negotiate this down to? Uh, I would do, put offer around uh, 140. Okay. Eight. Cool. So I think they would accept. Okay, cool. This house in good conditions. We can see inside. Okay, it has, cool. Let's go see it. And it has very beautiful features. Okay, beautiful. cool. So is your plan for this one as well to chop it up into different apartments? Yes, we also uh, suggest to divide it into three into three units, yeah. uh, separate units. Okay. But for this house, you have to build separate entrance. Okay, cool. And the interesting uh, uh, opportunity here in Greece, if you submit the project, of a new flooring plan before you complete purchase, then you don't need to ask for permission. This uh, floor plan would be accepted before purchase purchase the building, yeah. and you can separate into three, three units without any extra permission. Okay, so this would be a one bedroom unit downstairs, a yeah. two bedroom, one bedroom unit? This is, we can make it two bedroom unit. If you, there is duck there, I don't think you okay. can show, but Let's it's go very upstairs because it's the same yeah? layout. Yeah. It's the same layout? It's the okay. same layout, it's very big space. So, and it's very high ceiling. You can see the ceiling is so high. It's yeah. a three and a half something. Yeah? yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And the upper floor, I think it's four meters high ceiling. Okay. Very unicum uh, property from the layout and the building construction point. Yeah. Uh, to find such a high ceiling with all these beautiful historical features. Cool. And the view. Okay. It has a cool. beautiful view. Of course, every unit has a sea view. Cool, so you chop this up into three units. Yes. Angelina likes to chop things up. She does the same thing in Istanbul. <laughs> she chops things up and hijacks rooftops. That's her specialty. Yes, that's how we make money. On rental income. <laughs> yes. People appreciate the one who rent the house. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much uh, what she is helping me do with uh, my investments in uh, in Istanbul, being very creative with the remodeling and all that. Cool, okay. Oh, this this is gorgeous here. The, the ceiling is absolutely stunning. Wow, beautiful. These, these ceilings, these features, you can find almost gone. Oh, beautiful view. Have a look at the staircase also. It's uh... beautiful. Yes? Yes, staircase is beautiful. So two bedrooms here. So essentially you would cover this, this staircase? Yes, we would cover the staircase. Unfortunately, so beautiful staircase, but we would cover them to create a three separate apartment, which is, will be much better for rental income. And for okay. the owners to get good 
yield. Okay, cool. And then you would add an entrance where for this one? Because so I'm, for this one, we would yeah. end, add entrance here. Okay. Here we will make we will add staircases. So you would add street. stairs on the street, and yeah. you, you were saying that's the thing where you ask for permission from the government to we get the permit. We would ask for permission because we would we will submit the floor new floor plan before uh, the purchase will be finalized. Okay. So we would submit the floor plan that this house already has the separate three entrance and already has the stairs. Okay. Cool. We will submit new drawings but saying that it is already exist. Okay, cool. Um, Estratos, what do you think, what would be your estimate for the daily rental income in peak season? And then again, assuming that we keep all the other metrics constant that we used in the previous case study. All right, so uh, top floor, because of the, the view is better, will be around 175. And it's a two bedroom. And it's a two bedroom. Uh, then we uh, get the first floor around 140 and uh, ground floor around 70. It's a uh, road level, easy to access. Okay, cool, fantastic. So when we do these numbers and then we take the, the renovation cost, how much would the renovation cost be so about? Reno renovation cost, we think about 140. Yeah, because it is a lot bigger yes, than the other one. So same price as you spent on purchasing this property. Just put double Yeah. to double. be safe. On safe. Plus furniture? Plus furniture around 35K. Uh, okay, cool. And then so we had the usual purchasing costs, taxes, etc. Uh, we deduct the, the usual costs. Uh, so here's a breakdown, just a bit more for utilities compared to the other one, because this one's bigger. I mean, you can tell the ceilings are way higher. So that's going to be more electricity for sure. Um, and we get to a net rental yield before income tax, but after all expenses of about seven and a half percent. So less good than the other one, but it's clearly a much more beautiful house. It's historical. Um, and you know, from a living perspective, it's very livable. So again, it's the sort of investment you do the golden visa, and then you have like an apartment that you can use for yourself rent out the rest of the year. And even when you're here, you're still making rental income from the other places. Exactly. So essentially that's kind of the thinking around this. Cool. So now I know people have been waiting for this one. Let's go check out the, the 25,000 euro house and we'll do the same numbers as well to see the ROI. So we're going to go to the other side of town. So Estratos, you wanted to say a few things here about this, uh, like this is what, a plaza here? This is a plaza. This is one two traditional cafeterias. Yeah, they have nice ice cream in this one. It's beautiful. Uh, this is a folklore museum at the floor. Yeah. And uh, Plomari is very famous for its Uzo. It's the motherland of Uzo. What's Uzo? Uzo is a, uh, it's a Greek drink. Uh, it's made from anise. You put water and ice and you drink it and you enjoy it by the sea. You look very passionate when you talk about that drink. Greek vodka. Come on. It's a Greek vodka. <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> Greek and vodka. Here, okay. This is cross sales And here now. is the shop. Okay. Here's one of Barbara the Yann. shops. Yeah. One right of the here. most fav uh, famous brands. Cool. Nice. And how much does a coffee cost here when you have a coffee here? Greek this? coffee? Yeah, the Greek coffee here with uh, the local guys. How much? 1.5 euros. 1.5 euros and a large beer? Large beer around, uh, if it's draft, around 2 euros. Wow, and, okay. Uh, and Bailey's just 3 euros. Okay, yes. okay. <laughs> clearly Angelina likes Bailey's. Okay, cool. All right, so I think we're going to go for a beer after, uh, after this uh, 25,000 euro house. Let's go. So you both help foreign investors here. So where are most of the buyers from here on the island? They're Europeans, they're from uh, US, uh, mostly uh, Europe, I can say. Which countries? Uh, France, Denmark. Um, Norway, Sweden. Norway, Sweden. Belgium. Okay. Cool. Belgium what about Greek buyers? What percentage of sales do they represent here on the island? On the island, uh, it's around 40% at least. Okay, so 40% Greek, 60% foreigners, mm -hmm. mostly Europeans, and then a little bit of, talk to me about the non-Europeans. Which non-Europeans are 
investing here on the island? Uh, before uh, things get a little complicated with Turkey, uh, also uh, Turkish people wanted to buy properties here, uh, mostly for a, like a resort, like a summer house. Um, French people, French people buy a lot. Okay. And non Europeans selling... also, Americans buy a lot here, but the most uh, famous non Europeans that uh, crazy buying in, the, in this island is Israelis. Okay, why are Israelis investing here? Uh, I think this is a great opportunity. Israelis know where, know where to invest. So they, this is a place of organic food, or this is a place of the water. If you buy plot, you will have your own water, artesian water. artesian water, to the rest of your life without any payment. Okay, so you also both have like plots to sell. Of yes, there are Israelis mostly are buying uh, plots. Yeah. So what they do, uh, they find a, a nice plot with great view. They buy, they build a villa. Then maybe they will sell the villa, or they can uh, add like uh, three, four small villas for rent. It's also investment for them, okay. not only lifestyle. Okay, cool. And I think in terms of the Greek Golden Visa, you can also help with this in the sense that, generally speaking, renovations are not included in the Greek Golden Visa. But if you buy a plot of land and you have a contract with a builder and you pay all the proper VAT and taxes, it's an investment. It's, it counts towards the Golden Visa in that case. So plot plus house is golden visa i didn't want to make a video on this i was more interested in in the the older houses cheap houses that you can renovate etc but that's also an opportunity for people who are interested and plots are not expensive it's like 65k uh, 80k plus. for like how big uh like 65k is four thousand four thousand square meters, meters. Square meters. and okay. you can have two so it, two houses on that plot. So it's almost almost one acre of land for sixty five to eighty thousand euros, roughly uh, with a sea view. With a sea view. And then you can build your You're house on an island. On an island, cool. What are stratos? What are the construction costs, roughly? So now we have a little. You see, this is typical here. All the all the motorbikes here on the on little streets. What are the construction costs? For such villas per square meter, roughly, what's the range? Roughly, it's uh, 1.6 thousand uh, euros per square meter. Okay, great, cool. So now we're gonna go to the house and we have to go up these stairs. So here we are, the 25,000 euro house. So in this cute little alley. Um, yeah, you definitely cannot take a car here. It's this balcony here. The second balcony is another house, it belongs to someone else, but essentially this whole house. How many square meters roughly is this place? Roughly 42. Roughly 42. Okay, so like 21, 21? Okay, like cool. So uh, let's go inside and then I'd like to understand what you would suggest people should do with this, uh, with this property to maximize it as an investment for Airbnb. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a total gut job. Yes. Let's so be clear. we suggest totally to open this area. Okay. Brush this wall. Brush this wall. Okay. Um, oh yeah. Know. Yeah. You we see, total be, gut job. You can see there. But there's a window here, yeah, so that's good. Yeah. There's a window and it's a big space. So Gosh, what a if mess. you crush all this wall and open up, it can be big salon with the kitchen. Gosh. You can add bathroom here. Yeah, okay. And so this would be living room, kitchen, bathroom. Bathroom. Yes. Okay. And then you go upstairs. Okay. But this space open, open bedroom. Okay, so you kill, you remove this? Yeah, you remove this. Okay. And we remove this. Okay, so it's like essentially one big bedroom. Yes, it's like one big bedroom. Okay. And with a big jacuzzi here. Oh, jacuzzi here? Yeah, and we open this wall. Yeah. Destroy the wall and put the glass. Yeah, glass all glass. Wall with a glass door to the balcony. Yeah. So you have jacuzzi. Yeah. With a sea view. Cool. In front of the glass. And like and another here, window? Yeah, the ded dedicated working space. space. Okay, cool. For digital with nomads. With internet and the, all the proper equipment. And then here you redo the balcony. 
Yeah, we will redo the balcony. I do suggest just the roll there. And then from the <laughs> bed, and yeah, definitely I am not stepping foot on this balcony. Um, and then from the bed, from the jacuzzi, you have this beautiful view. Gosh, look at this. Look, this is what you want. This is how you want to spend time in life. You know, right now, if you're watching this, you're maybe in New York or like some terrible place like Frankfurt or Utrecht or I don't know, in the UK, you could be living here. The and beach you see has a blue flag, by the way. Oh, the beach here? Uh, oh, the right. One you're showing, the one you're showing. Yeah, there's a beach if you go down there, actually. Um, I, we don't quite see it here. Yeah, down there, there's yeah. a beach, which is blue flag. And there's one which is a four minute walk away, which is also blue flag, right? Uh, this is not recognized as a blue flag. Oh. Of course, the same water. Yeah. Well, there are many beaches around, uh, around Plomari. Beautiful. More than 10. Yeah. Some of them you can access only by boat. Okay, cool. So absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so buy this for 25,000 euros. That's the mm -hmm. list price. You know, maybe it's possible to negotiate a bit. Mm -hmm. Cool, you pay the usual notary fees, your agent fees, yeah. all, the, all the usual stuff. What would be the renovation budget? So we think like 40K renovation budget, a bit high, 40,000 euro, the renovation cost, because we want a jacuzzi, we want to do this very high level looks luxury apartment so the relationship was a bit okay so one thousand over, over budget that for the such a small apartment with this kind of square meters just because okay. we want to create a different kind of space yeah and uh, we think that this apartment could be rent out on daily base for 120 euro per day okay and then using the same metrics yeah, same metrics, three and a half months okay so 80 75 percent occupation yeah so 12 percent minus for the mm, discounts discounts okay and, cool. and, and the then rest furniture is eight and a half months let's say and, and then like furniture. half of what you in total what you would made okay for the short term cool and, and then it. another i don't know 5k for like top of the range furniture all yes, of that 5k yeah. for the furniture cool okay so what about so the cost 25 percent for your Airbnb management yes. fee, Estratos, uh, utilities, because I mean, there's a jacuzzi, all that, you know, that adds up. Okay, the jacuzzi adds a little bit of uh, electricity cost, of course. Uh, we can say, we can say roughly uh, 80 euros per month. Uh, Internet, same, 25. Uh, and you can add a little extra to the cost, to the bill of, uh, of the water. Okay, yeah. cool. So we'll put 125 a month. What about property tax? How much would that be roughly? It's, uh, it's a small house, and uh, because you have to go up uh, some stairs, it, the value uh, drops a little bit on terms of um, of property tax. Uh, less than 100. I love the portraits. Mm -hmm. I love the people. They're so. There are many, many. They're like you know family members of people who lived here. It's beautiful. Cool. You can see they weren't smiling on yeah, the yeah. selfish back then. Cool, and then a little bit of a renovation budget. Um, cool, another happy camper here. So a little bit of a renovation budget. So essentially we, we get a net yield of about 9.5% before local income tax for a small investment of, of like roughly 75,000 euros. Um, you end up with a net yield of 9.5% and like one hell of a lifestyle property. So, I mean, look, just as a pure investment, this is very viable uh, for someone that doesn't have that much money. Um, yeah, you can end up having like a luxury little house on a Greek island giving you decent yields. And there's a lot of opportunities like this here. I mean, you, I, I've seen, you showed me some houses without views of almost 400 square meters here in town without views for like 120,000 euros or something. Yeah. Um, so there's, there's, there's some, some great deals around, but you have to be fast, you know? Yeah, it's it's a crazy market. Like there's so many, so many deals. So yeah, so I, I find 
hear Plumari in on Lesbos Island in, in Greece very interesting. So people who want the golden visa, I think that it's a no-brainer to prefer to buy here rather than everything that these immigration agencies are pitching to you online. By far, come here, do your own, essentially do your own golden visa and make good investments. One, two, people who want lifestyle properties. This is really interesting if you want the, the real Greek lifestyle as opposed to going to Mykonos or Santorini where it's like it's almost Disneyland at this point. This is really, really Greece. It's affordable. The people are very friendly. The food is authentic. Um, it's very pleasant and you can rent it out the rest of the year and make some decent yields. So lifestyle, great. And then also people who are pure investors, especially I'd say Europeans or people that um, are comfortable making Euro investments at this stage. This is a very decent opportunity in the sense that it's hard, generally speaking, in Europe to make high yields when making investments, especially in pleasant places. Because if you're going to make high yields in places like Germany or places like France or Belgium, you're going to be buying little studios and immigrant neighborhoods next to the train station. It's not going to be anything nice. Here you get high yields for very pleasant properties in a beautiful place and a place where you could actually spend time yourself. And as, as I said, I expect, and you are both seeing it, I expect more and more people from Northern Europe to be making a permanent move down to Greece, either part of the year or the full year because of better weather, because of better lifestyle and local taxes. So we saw that Swedish couple who are probably well off, who clearly enjoy spending time in Southern Europe. And they had never even heard of that program of the government where tax. for massive tax incentives. And there are other tax incentives as well for people who run their own business, for people who work online. There's a, a host of different tax incentives for new residents to Greece. And, and I think that's important. People who are existing Greek tax residents are getting fleeced by the government. But when you come as a new tax resident to Greece, there's a ton of incentives that you can take advantage of, move here, benefit from it. So it's not necessarily very fair. So I feel sorry for you, Stratos, but it's bringing a lot of people here. You benefit it's still from- Still undeveloped. The yeah. island is still undeveloped, so it's cheap. Yeah. Properties are plenty and opportunities are many. Yeah. Uh, and of course, you're, you're getting sea view and walking distance from the from a beach. I mean, yeah. Where it's else? Crazy. Yeah. Where else do you get this in Europe? Seventy-five thousand euros yeah. walking distance. A little luxury house like that with a view. You do not get that in Montenegro anymore. I can tell you that. Uh, Albania maybe, but Albania is vastly inferior to Greece. There aren't, and even Turkey now, it's hard to find prices like this in Turkey. The prices are more expensive in Turkey at this stage. So, or you go to Bulgaria, but then you're on the Black Sea, uh, which is... Not mm, comparable to exactly. the Asian Sea. Small, exactly. Small note that uh, uh, Lesbos is the third biggest island in Greece. Uh, it's, it has sustainable economy. I mean, we're producing uh, food here. Mm -hmm. uh, it has 11 million olive trees. It's beautiful. It's uh, and in 2012, if I'm correct, uh, we joined the UNESCO geo, uh, Geopark. It's it's beautiful. When you go, we went we went driving in the mountains. Mm -hmm. You showed me some properties in the mountains. I mean, there are like I mean, kind of rundown properties like this in the mountains, little villages in the mountains for five ten thousand euros. Uh, you know, investment wise, definitely you wouldn't get the rental yields that you would here because no one really goes there. But from a lifestyle point of view, yes, you get some peace and quiet. Yeah, you can. And, with, uh, and beautiful view. Yeah, yeah. And with not much money, yeah. you can have your lifestyle of having a nice apartment with sea views here and then just a 20 minute drive in the mountains, um, your own little house there in the mountains. With of course, you can views. get some land there, yeah. build a farmhouse. Yeah. Uh, I mean, many many locals do, do that. I mean, they left the houses here and they moved upwards to the mountainside. So they have this big plot. They build their house there, big house, uh, close enough and plenty of room for children and uh, horses. Maybe yeah. there's a client of us. Oh yeah, uh, that cool. he and sheep and chickens. <laughs> nice. 
Perfect. So if you're interested in making a real estate investment here in Lesvos, feel free to get in touch with Angelina and Estratos, a link below with more information on their services. And there is also the email below. They can send you a brochure with all the price lists, etc. If you want to buy real estate or if you want to apply for the golden visa. So they work with lo lawyers locally that have helped a number of people obtain the golden visa here. So it's all very doable. They can help. Uh, we can provide all the services what needed to get the golden visa. So golden Some visa, tanky, yeah. buying the apartment, the renovating the apartment, apartment, and then managing the apartment. And also if you just want to buy for investment and get uh, residence. Okay, cool. Yeah, there are all, all other programs for residency here. And then also taxes, accounting, all that. So there's, they have all the network to help you with your accountant, investments. professional accountant, or you want to set up the company. Okay. All the services are perfect included. Great. All right, Angelina Estratos, thank you very much. Nice having you here. Yeah. So it's now a we're gonna go have some uh, thank some you very uzo much. and nah, some there you yeah. and some. Now we're talking business. And some some lucky. Yeah, and some two euro beers. Greek kebab. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Cheers. Okay. Bye. Cheers. Bye bye, thank you. Make sure to download my free ebook, 12 Mistakes to Avoid When Investing in International Real Estate, which you can find on my website, link below. And feel free to follow me on Instagram at The Wandering Investor. I look forward to hearing from you.